The girl says she came to remove some pieces. The boy checks the ticket. The boy takes the bag with clothes. The girl behind with the same ticket gives it to the boy. The boy doesn't notice and gives her another bag too. She still says that she paid a lot to come and that's all. And she asks if it won't work out. He says he will call the manager. She says call quickly. The boy goes to the manager. He starts to explain the situation. And then he says that the second girl complains saying that the price doesn't match what's in the bag. The manager takes the ticket to check. The manager asks where they are. The boy says that one left and the other made the complaint. The manager says everything is normal with the value and products. The boy says he will go back there. The girl is looking at some shoes. The boy arrives and comments that he has already resolved it with the manager. She says she thinks it's good. The boy says she can take the amount that matches the ticket. She says she will choose. The boy says he can feel free. She asks for permission. And the girl keeps looking at other pieces. She says she chose this one. The boy says here is the note in case you need to exchange it. She thanks him and leaves. And the boy says goodbye. The boy looks at something on his cell phone and finds it strange. She goes to her friend. And they both say everything went well. And they celebrate that the plan worked. The boy asks if there really is nothing different in the system. The manager says yes. The boy says he is suspicious. The boy says he gave the missing pieces relating to the value of the note, but he finds it strange. And he says he took her cell phone to snoop around. The manager asks why, and the boy says he is suspicious. The manager says he's looking for trouble. The boy asks the manager to help. The manager asks if he is sure. The boy says he has no proof and wants to find out and needs help. The manager says she didn't see his face and goes outside to see if he can hear them saying anything. And the boy wants to find out something on the girl's cell phone. And the boy is surprised to see the messages on the girl's cell phone.
The friend says she was scared at the time. The girl says it is the third time and she was never discovered. The friend says she has already succeeded three times and needs more. The girl suggests going somewhere else. And the friend says it's a good idea. And the girl says that she must have forgotten her cell phone at the store. The friend says it's risky to go back there. The girl says that no one suspected, and everything will be fine. And her friend tells her to go there then. The manager listened to the entire conversation. The girl says she forgot her cell phone. The boy says he didn't see any cell phones here. He asks if this is it. She says it's not, and says she's sure she forgot it here, and says they tried to rob her, and now she wants her cell phone. The boy says she is nervous. She says she has important things to do. And the boy says he will look for it. The friend appears and asks if she found it. The boy says he didn't see anything. The girl says she left it here and asks if she's trying to steal her cell phone. And she says she wants to speak to the manager. The manager appears at that time. And the girl says that the boy took her cell phone and this was the only place he came. The boy asks if they are really thieves. Or are they? The girl and her friend question whether they are crazy. And the girl says she just wants the cell phone. The boy says the girl pretends well. And the boy says they are tough and wouldn't cheat on them. The friend asks if they are crazy. The manager says he heard their conversation outside. And the boy says that their conversations are setting them up to hit the store. The girl's friend says it's a crime. The boy tells the manager to call the police. The girl says she doesn't need it and says she already took her cell phone and leaves. The two make fun of the girl's nerve. The manager says it's not the first time they've done this in the store. The girl asks if there is a way to solve this. The manager says it's a police matter. They say it's not necessary. And the girl's friend says she can solve it another way. And they propose spending a night together to forget all that. The boy tells his boss that it's not a bad idea. They ask if they will waste the opportunity. And the manager says yes, and tells them to enjoy it. The two ask if everything is resolved. The manager says everything is fine. They pick up the clothes. And the boy won't let him. They question. The manager says it's from the store. The girl's friend says she thought she resolved the situation. The manager asks if it's a joke. And he says that they caused a huge loss in the store and says that he won't take anything from the store, and the type of person like them doesn't even want to be around. And he tells them both to leave, before he goes back and calls the police. And all friends who have stores will know who they are. The friend tells them to leave. And they both give them a rush. The boy congratulates the boss, and asks if he gave the girl a treat. He says it's logical. And they both go back to work 